y'all welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing another DIY tutorial and this one is going to be for a homemade honey based facial cleanser and this is easily the most customizable recipe that I know of because basically all you're going to do is swap out the carrier oil for an oil that suits your skin type and this is a like I said this is a honey based cleanser and honey in and of itself is actually a wonderful cleanser because of the acids that are in the sugars and the honey and because honey is just an all-around kind of like super food you know it's it's anti-inflammatory it's got a ton of antioxidants so it's really great for your skin so then when we combined Castile soap with this and that's going to already boost some of like the waterproof makeup removal kind of thing. Then we're going to add carrier oils to it to moisturize and balance your skin. But also because like removes like. So we're going to help dissolve some of the oils and makeup and things that are left on our skin. We're going to add some glycerin to this to help act as a humectant as well. So that means it's going to draw moisture from the air to our skin. But it's also going to make it suds a little more. Um, some For those of y'all that watched my homemade laundry soap tutorial I talked about how manufacturers put lots of surfactants and things that make our soaps lather and suds and everything but really we don't need those there they don't aid in cleaning whatsoever but glycerin actually will make it this foam up a little bit it will also thicken it because for those of you that have used Castile soap before you do know you're, you probably have noticed that it is quite thin like this is it in the bottle and you can you can even hear it like slosh around in there it is quite thin so that is yeah okay so that's all we're putting in this of course except for our honey now I've already measured mine out and it is best to use local raw honey and you can actually buy regular raw honey at like Sam's in the grocery store now so you don't have to get this if you have a food budget you can get this at the grocery store now. Same thing for the carrier oils that we're going to put in here. I have several that I've got sitting right here in front of me. And I bought every single one of these things from Walmart except my olive oil. I do buy my olive oil at Sam's. But you can get it at Walmart. So this is going to be super easy and super accessible for everyone. Will you please hush? You're also going to need a bottle. This uh, is one that I've had for years that I use for and it's got um, it's not on there right now of course but it's got this little pump top that goes with it it has been washed and dried in hot soapy water I then once it was completely dry I took my homemade excuse me my homemade window cleaner because it is a natural disinfectant and I sprayed on the inside of this uh, I will link that video in the description box down below if you do not know the recipe. Also, I will try to figure out how to insert a little link here. That probably won't happen, but I'll try to figure it out. Uh, so what I did, like I said, is I washed and dried this. I then sprayed some of the cleaner in there and I let it dry thoroughly because this does have water in it. Uh, so that perfect breeding ground for bacteria so we want to make sure that we are stopping every chance at contamination that we can now this recipe is going to last you about three months before it starts to go bad but the amount here should definitely uh like you're not going to have any spoilage is what I'm saying. You're not going to have to throw anything out. You should use this up. If for some reason you feel like you won't like I always say go ahead and divide the recipe in half or you could simply um make it and then take divide the batch in half and freeze it and same thing just thaw it out and put it in here when you're ready to use it so we're gonna need this like I said you're gonna need some type of bottle you'll need yourself a funnel you're gonna need your Castile soap you're going to need glycerin uh, two different types of carrier oils sit here let's see if that, that works and fall in the sink because that's cool too okay you're gonna need two different types of carrier oils you're also going to need your raw honey and then you're going to need four tablespoons of water now remember the water needs to either be distilled or it needs to be water that has been brought to a rolling boil for 10 minutes and then left to cool now for the oil basically what you're going to do is you're going to choose an oil for your skin type so 
the thicker the oil, the more oil that is going to remain once you rinse your face off. So obviously, if your skin is quite dry, like mine, then you're going to want a heavier weight oil. And so, uh, some good oils to use, and I'll show you what I've got here today. I have avocado. This is a very nice heavy weight oil. I've got sweet almond. This is a wonderful multi-purpose. Pretty much everyone can use this. Olive oil. Um castor oil a very 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 heavy weight oil and I've got some grapeseed oil here this is an extremely lightweight oil this oil is wonderful for people with oily or acne prone skin um just turn the phone on <laughs> it is very similar to jojoba oil which mimics our natural sebum so if you are looking for a lighter weight oil and you can't find jojoba grapeseed is a wonderful replacement so basically like i said pick the oil that is suiting your skin type so if you've got middle of the ground like normal combination probably sweet almond and olive oil would be a great combination you could also use fractionated coconut oil that is the one that stays liquid i don't have any of that uh, coconut is a little bit on the heavier side so if you tend to get a little dry or because we are coming up in the cooler months well florida didn't get the memo it's 85 today but you know, if you live in a place that's normal, <laughs> you could definitely get away with some coconut oil. Now, as for our Castile soap in this recipe, I would recommend going with lavender, baby mild, <coughs> almonds, and if you're acne prone, the tea tree oil one would be wonderful for you. But a word of caution with tea tree oil, when it is mixed with raw honey, it takes on a very distinctive odor. Now, there's nothing happening like it's not spoiling or causing some chemical reaction that's going to hurt your skin it just smells bad so you could either uh just deal with the smell you could add some essential oils to it to help cover up the smell or you could just not use the tea tree oil we are not going to be putting essential oils in this however because this is literally going to be on your face for like five seconds so you're not really going to get any benefit plus I'm using the lavender soap. It's going to smell like lavender, so it'll smell nice. She is going for the honey. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This is literally one of these, let's just dump everything in, a, in the container. So for, we're going to get our container here and take the, la or the ladle, the funnel from the child. And anytime that you are making a product that has Castile soap in it, you want to add the water first. And then add the soap. This helps prevent sudsing. Now, remember, Castile soap does not suds much, but it does, and we do want to cut down on that. So we're going to take four tablespoons of water. I've already measured this out, and I'm just going to pour it in here. This has been boiled and cooled. I brought it to a rolling boil for 10 minutes this morning, and then it's been sitting on the stove. Yes, there's water in there, sister. Then we're going to do our Castile soap. You're going to need a third of a cup of Castile soap. And I'm just going to scrape every little bit of this out of here. And remember, you can use whatever kind you want. I would not use the peppermint or the um, the citrus. They make a rose one, but it's kind of hard to find. So the rose would probably be very nice and very calming, too, if you have, uh, like, yeah. in inflammatory prone skin, I guess. <laughs> now we're going to add the honey. Now, a good thing to do with honey Take your honey and whatever you're measuring it, we're going to do a third of a cup of honey. So that's four tablespoons of water, a third of a cup of Castile soap, and a third of a cup of honey. And a good thing to do is to spray whatever you're measuring your honey in with cooking spray. And it helps it slide out a lot better and then you have a lot less waste. And we all, you know, want to cut down on waste. And I could have sprayed my funnel too to help it slide out. But because it's metal, it will naturally come out a little bit better. Okay. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of glycerin. And remember, we're putting this in here because this is a humectant and because it's going to help it suds. And it will thicken it a little bit because glycerin is quite thick. And now we're going to do two tablespoons of carrier oil. And what I like to do is use two different oils and do a tablespoon of each. So we're going to do a tablespoon of avocado. Remember, this is a very heavy weight oil. I have very, very dry skin, especially since I had her. 
Um, and she just turned a year old, but for this past year, my skin has been horrendous. So we're gonna add a tablespoon of this oil. This is avocado, like I said. This mimics the texture of silicone. So if you're making something and you're trying to like mimic a product and it calls for silicone, this is your best sub. And then I'm going to do sweet almond oil. Now my recommendation is to put a tablespoon of sweet almond in every, no matter what kind of skin you have. And then your other tablespoon could be any other type of oil to suit your skin. So if your skin is quite oily or acne prone, I would recommend a tablespoon of sweet almond and then a tablespoon of grapeseed or jojoba. If your skin is normal combination, slightly dry, I would do, like I said, a tablespoon of uh, almond, sweet almond, and then perhaps fractionated coconut or maybe olive oil. And then if your skin is super dry like mine, you could use the sweet almond and then maybe uh, hazelnut oil, castor oil, um, or the, the avocado oil. Really, any kind of oil you can get your hands on. And if you're a little unsure about how it's going to work on your skin, you could always have this recipe. And then that way you could kind of decide how it works for you. And so now this is what it looks like. And we're just going to put the lid on it. And Charlotte's going to keep trying to throw stuff. It's okay, baby. I don't need it. And you're going to shake it up. And that is literally all you do. So this is pretty awesome. And give it a good shake. Give, just make sure you give it a good shake. And then to use this, you're simply going to get your water running hot, of course. How dare I take something from you? Uh, anyway, you're just going to get your water running hot. Uh, take your, your eye makeup off, especially if you wear an eye makeup remover. The, the reason is, is because Castile soap burns. It will burn your eyes, and so you don't want to really, I put this over my eyes, but you don't want to really, really be rubbing it on the eye, because um, it will be quite unpleasant. And believe it or not, stuff that is like no more tears, it actually has a numbing agent in it, and that is what makes it not make like kids it's what makes their eyes not tear up there's a numbing agent in there so that's why a lot of people try to stay away from that so this is it this is what it'll look like when it's done we have not put any stabilizers or emulsifiers in here so you do want to shake it up before you use it uh yet again this will last you about three months or so i use it up in about two and a half, three months, but honestly, this has never spoiled on me, and I've been using this exact recipe with a couple of tweaks with the oils and the glycerin for two years now. So, I hope that you give this a try. This is a great recipe. It will make your skin feel so good. Say hi to the baby. <laughs> Anyway, this is a great simple recipe. Like I said, go ahead and swap out your oils. If you make this, go ahead and let me know. Um, as usual, I will put all of the proportions in the description box down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. That way you can uh -huh. that way you can be notified when I make it when I upload a new video. And if you like this video and you would like to see more skin care DIY videos, go ahead and give us a thumbs up so I can know. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, words of wisdom, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. This was a super quick, super ratchet video. I say that after everyone, but this is the best I can do, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, well, have a good day, and I hope to see you at the next video. And thanks for watching. Bye.